your customers adding products to their cart but forgetting to check out? Sometimes life gets in the way, but in this video, I'll show you how to create an active campaign abandoned cart automation with or without Shopify so you can help recover more of those abandoned carts and stop leaving money on the table. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for your base businesses. Let's dive in. So before I go over three ways that you can create an active campaign abandoned cart automation, uh, first, let's talk about why abandoned cart emails are so important. You might be thinking they're just a nice to have, but according to Active Campaign, 70 to 80 percent of customers abandon their carts and don't complete the checkout. Okay, so that's money left on the table. If you're not sending emails trying to recover those those abandoned carts, you're leaving money on the table, uh, and you're also not serving your customers with the best experience possible. They may have forgotten. They went on to do something else. We all get distracted. Uh, and that little nudge, that little reminder can help build that relationship with them, give them a better experience. And if you end up offering them a coupon as well, you can build brand loyalty, um, not only from the reminder, but by offering them a, a discount to come back in and complete their purchase. So Active Campaign also shared that nearly 45% of people open their abandoned cart emails, right? So like I mentioned, life gets in the way. Uh, we forget. It's not always because we're not interested in purchasing the product. Sometimes we just leave the checkout for another time and we're actually appreciative of getting that uh, reminder email go back in and we make the purchase uh, for something that we originally wanted so that is why these are so important and now let's dive in and take a look at three different ways that we can create them first we can create an abandoned carts recovery email uh, automation using active campaign and site tracking only so this is not going to require uh, any deep data integrations or any integrations of any kind but you will need AC site tracking. Um, and this automation will only work if your e-com solution has a distinct cart URL and an order confirmation page URL. And I'll show you what I mean <clears throat> inside Active Campaign. So we'll go into our automations. And the nice thing about this automation is there's actually a recipe from Active Campaign. So if you go to create an automation and you search for abandoned cart, we've got site tracking abandoned cart part one and then part two. So this will get you started uh, and you can go through the walkthrough to set up what I'm about to show you. So let's do number one and we're going to use the automation setup wizard. Hit get started. This will take you through step by step. So part one, you're going to select your business domain. I'll just use wild now for this example and we'll use the cart URL. And now for the automation, you need to select this same automation and this condition prevents uh, a contact from coming back through the automation if they're already in it. So we're going to choose part one and hit next. And now just to explain what's happening here, the contact visits page wildmail.io slash cart and is not currently in automation part one and been cart reminder. We're filtering out anyone that's already in this. If they happen to visit the cart page again, Okay, and, and your URL may be different. This is an example, but what you want is your cart page. Whatever, you know, whatever um, page has the products that the customer has added into their cart, whatever it's called for your business, you can go ahead and use that. And then the asterisk will uh, allow you to use the set up the wildcard for this. And then that'll uh, allow you to be able to choose any page, not just cart forward slash, but cart forward slash, and then anything that follows. You can check this video out here for more on using the wildcard and setting up site tracking. We'll set it to run multiple times. Okay. Now we have a wait time here for three hours. This is set up by the recipe, but you can adjust this as you can see in the notes. Once this wait action expires, the message below this email here, inviting them to come back and purchase will be sent. Uh, and then part two of the automation is going to end this first automation that we're in here. Whenever the contact visits the thank you page, and we won't send this email if we've tracked them visiting the thank you page, right? So right now they visited the cart. We're going to wait three hours to see, do they, do they then go into the thank you page? If not, that means that they have not purchased. They're still sitting at the, the cart here. Um, you can adjust this for your own length of time by clicking in. I'll leave it for three hours and then you can send this email here. You'll have to set this up if you use the recipe, um, inviting them back in. Maybe you'll include a discount uh, to help them, you know, nudge them and, and encourage them to complete the checkout. 
So this is part one. And then for part two, we're going to go back into automations, create an automation, state tracking abandoned cart part two. Here it is and hit continue. And we're going to use the automation setup wizard again. And we'll go through the notes here. This automation is triggered by someone reaching the order confirmation page, and you can enter the URL of your order confirmation page here. All right, this one is imported after importing part one, which we just went over. So I'm gonna choose wild mail again, and we'll just leave it at order confirmation, but it would be whatever uh, web page URL marks the thank you page or order confirmation page for your business. Now with some e-com shops, um, e-com platforms, you are gonna have dynamic, um, parameters in the URL. Uh, maybe you have a very similar URL for the cart and the confirmation. Um, so in that case, you will want to use one of the deep data integrations. Uh, and I can go over that with Shopify in just a second. So for here, we'll hit next. And this section is going to end the first automation that we created. If someone has visited the thank you page and completed their order. Okay, so I'm going to search for part one, hit apply, and then I'm going to hit next. So now here, what we're saying is when someone reaches the order confirmation page, which means they made a purchase, we want to stop automation part one that sends the email to remind them to purchase. We don't want people who already purchased getting the email um, you know, suggesting that they come back in and, and uh, complete the checkout. Okay, and that's a, a very simple but effective way to get started with a cart abandonment series uh, using just active campaign and site tracking. If you don't have site tracking set up, you can check out this video. I'll show you quickly. Over here on the left, go to website. Open up the navigation and go to site tracking. Toggle site tracking on, whitelist your websites for your shop, and then add the tracking code into the footer of your site. And again, if you're not sure how to do that, you can go to this video here and check out the step-by-step -step instructions where we dive a bit deeper into site tracking. So that was the first way, just using ActiveCampaign and site tracking. Now we're gonna get into using tags added from another platform. So this uh, typically is gonna require either a direct native integration with another platform and active campaign or through Zapier. And you can check out our marketing automation playlist for all the videos going over how to use Zapier uh, or how to integrate your other platforms with uh, active campaign. So jumping back into our automations, and this is one that we've had uh, built out for ourselves in the past. Whenever one of these cart abandoned tags are added, and you see the different levels of this product RF, we're going to trigger this automation. These are getting added with a native integration between uh, one of our e-com shops that was selling a digital product. So we can add these tags directly into a contact inactive campaign from our core selling uh, platform. Then does the contact match the following conditions? We're making sure that this is not already uh, present on that contact. If it is, we want to end the automation. We don't want to send them the same email down here, the cart abandoned rescue email, if they've already received it. So tag does not exist. We'll go down the yes path. We will add the tag so that if they go back through again, they would end the automation. And here is where we're going to send an email. You can click in to adjust the email. And it actually uh, uses, we're actually explaining to them that we've created this automation to follow up exactly like this, and they can learn this too. This is from a past offer that we ran. It's no longer available, but you can get an idea for uh, what we were including in our cart abandonment email. Hit save and exit once you've adjusted your copy, and you can end the automation. And you can get creative with this and extend the abandonment emails if you want to send more. Uh, we would send just one minimum and then optimize from there. Uh, but just like I mentioned uh, at the start of this video, just doing you know even one uh, email reminder to, to go complete their checkout is so much better than leaving money on the table um, and not serving your, uh, your customers. So finally, we've covered 
the first using active campaign and site tracking only using tags that are added from another platform to trigger the automation. And then finally using Shopify deep data integration and automation actions that come included when you integrate with your Shopify account. So first for this last one here, uh, it does require a Shopify account, of course. So you're going to create an account for yourself. And then if I go to settings, integrations, you can see in the top right, add an integration. Shopify is right at the top and you connect your uh, account. You can see I've already got ours connected here for this demo. It'll walk you through the, through the steps. And now once you do that, if I go back into automations and create a new automation, I'll have certain actions available to me because I've integrated my Shopify account with Active Campaign. So if I look right now for Shopify, we've got product interest follow ups, email reminder to repurchase. That's for um, if someone needs to restock or is you know buying something on a monthly um, uh, subscription. But for our video here, we're going to do the abandoned cart reminder, hit continue. And we're going to go through the automation setup wizard. So hit get started. This is going to allow you to select your integration with whatever e-com platform you're using. And in our case, it's Shopify, but there's also WooCommerce, BigCommerce, et cetera. So I'm going to choose Wildmail Shopify. And right now we don't have any products. This is just a demo. So I'll say any product, but you can see the other options here. If you want to set this up for a specific product and then same with the category. Okay. Finally, you'll be able to select the cart value. So if the cart, you can see up here, contact abandons and e-commerce cart. When the cart is any value, the value is equivalent to more than or less than. We'll just put any value and hit next. So with this deep data integration, Active Campaign can actually understand and, and know when a contact abandons a cart thanks to the information passed from Shopify. So someone abandons a cart in Shopify. And then we're waiting until conditions are met for up to one day. And the last order date is the current date exactly. So you can adjust this time uh, as desired. So we're going to wait until conditions are met for up to one day. And the conditions we're waiting for are that last order date is the current date. So that means that they've purchased within the current date. And we're only going to wait for up to one day before we progress and push the contact through to the, the following conditions. You can adjust this to wait as long as you would like. Continue after X days. Then we're checking to see, uh, is the last order date the current date exactly? If yes, they've just purchased, so we can end the automation. And if no, we can send an email uh, with the abandoned cart copy inside. It should urge the contact to come back and finish their purchase. It could include a, um, a coupon. And I'm going to show you when you click into this using the recipe, you can start with a template. Classic designer for now and hit continue. Go to design templates and search for abandoned cart, hit select. And you can say something like, you forgot something in your cart. This is obviously just placeholder copy, hit continue. And the great thing about the deep data integration is that you have over here on the right, a block called abandoned cart. So if I drag that into my email, I can now add information dynamically populated directly from the Shopify store and that specific customer's abandoned cart. So I can add in, a picture of the product they've left in the cart. I can add in the name or, you know, rearrange this order name, the price, description, the quantity, or I can hide these. There's a return to checkout button to get them back in directly to their cart that they've abandoned. You can go to preview and this is what it'll look like inside the email. And with your additional settings, you can limit how many products you want to show and sort the way that the products are shown in the email. And here's the further documentation for this from Active Campaign as well. So once you have all that set up, you can hit OK and adjust your copy. 
remove this button, adjust the company name, the rest of the email, and you have yourself a dynamic abandoned carts recovery email to get people to go back in and urge them to, to complete their checkout. So that is the last way to set up an abandoned cart automation with active campaign. And that final one is using the Shopify deep data integration, which will pull data directly from your customers and, and the cart um, that they have started in Shopify, but have not yet completed the, the checkout process. So if you have any questions about these three different ways and how you might use them, uh, one of them for your specific business, just drop them in the comments below.